Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the vibrance and saturation sliders in Lightroom. Okay. Okay, so the saturation and vibrance sliders essentially are affecting color tone. So this isn't looking at the contrast or the brightness, the highlights, the darks, anything like that. It's purely looking at the color. But they actually do work differently between um, vibrance and saturation with what they actually do to the color range. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So let's jump into Lightroom. Here we are, today we're gonna to use this photograph here of this is Scott Kenworthy up at Red Rock in Las Vegas. So we've chosen this image because there's lots of colors. We've got greens, we've got reds or oranges, and we have blue. So lots to look at. So we're going to be looking at the vibrance and saturation that can be found over here in the presence area of the basic panel. Now, let's have a look at how they work. So let's just use, you've got vibrance, that obviously you increase to the right hand side and you get more vibrance or to the left hand side you get less and then saturation is the same. Now, the effects are kind of similar but actually very different at the same time. The reason is this, how they affect the colors inside the histogram. So essentially vibrance affects the mid-tones, so all the middle areas, and doesn't really affect as much the outside, so the, the shadows, or the darks and the lights. Whereas saturation affects the entire spectrum equally. So if you were to imagine this, anything which is in the mid-tones, the vibrant slider is going to affect it. So if there's a color which is in the darks or a color that's in the lights, that's not gonna affect that. Whereas saturation will evenly affect absolutely every single color, no matter where it is. But importantly, both sliders affect all colors in the spectrum. They don't just do blue or just green or red, they do every color equally. So, for example, if we look at vibrance, if we boost the vibrance of this, we can see that what it's doing is, is adding saturation essentially to everything, making it a lot more. But if we were to reduce this all the way to zero, you can see it's actually kept some of the colors. It's not completely grayscale. So if we look over here, there's still orange, there's still greens, okay? The reason for this is these colors down here, they're sitting in either end of the spectrum, so they're either in the highlights or the shadows. Whereas if we were to come over here and we look at the saturation, we can go up and again, equally, it's really blown it out. Whereas saturation, when you come down, essentially it's made the image grayscale. Now there is absolutely no color left in the image whatsoever. And you can see that reflected in the histogram. If you watch those colors, they slowly, slowly fade into the grayscale area here, if you watch them. And then as you come the other way, they, they slowly pull away from the gray, which is here, and then more prominent. Now, if we look at the vibrance and do the same thing, you can see it pulls away, but not quite as much. And when we come back, it brings them together, but it allows them to still exist, okay? So how would you use this differently? Well, look, when working with an image like this, if you were to just boost the saturation, it all of a sudden gets way too crazy. And for me, I'm, I don't really love it. Whereas, because vibrance is a little bit more intelligent, what you can do is you can boost vibrance by the same amount, okay, so say 50, okay, and it looks fantastic. Whereas boosting by 50 on the saturation, it's way too high. But what you can also do is play around with each of these. So for example, you might want to boost all of your vibrance up, but then you might say, actually, I want to pull back a little bit of the overall saturation. So the overall saturation of the image, reduce it down so there's less color. However, in all the mid-tones, I just wanna pull it back. And now for me, we have this image which now the greens, the yellows, and the blues are all popping independently of each other and they look absolutely amazing. So if we come out of this, sorry, my Wacom tablet's a bit funny today, like so. And if we reset these things, okay, it looks great, but again, boosting the vibrance, reducing the saturation. Or you can do the opposite way. 
You can reduce the vibrance and boost the saturation, but for me, you've always got all of these highlights and shadow areas which kind of get ruined by the saturation. Okay, so let's have a quick look over here using this um, thing that I like to build to use for things. So let's have a quick look. If we take vibrance to zero, this is what we get, whereas saturation to zero, it's going to be grayscale. And if we were to take the vibrance to 100% and take the saturation to 100% and the vibrance down, look at the difference, okay? What it's doing to the colors, your saturation, which is this one, really makes everything like electric, whereas the vibrance is a little bit more subtle, which I personally prefer. Essentially, that is the vibrance and saturation sliders in Lightroom. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment box below. If you like my video, then please like the video and definitely subscribe as I have loads more videos on their way and coming soon. Um, you can also find me on Twitter or Instagram under clearly ed. And this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.